often told you here on the show about how when you look deeper behind the layers of a story, you can truly find out exactly what's going on, you know, what really people are doing. And it's normally all about themselves, particularly those that want to be in the major public eye. You know, when you think about, say, the situation over at Fox News right now with that uh, debacle with Tucker Carlson and the producers around him, you know, whichever way you look at it, there's no denying Mr. Carlson was an incredibly successful broadcaster, pulling in literally thousands and thousands, millions of people uh, to his shows nightly. The people working behind the scenes, it's simply one thing you might suggest, simple jealousy. Now, this could be the same sort of thing regarding the former well known as the Duke of York, Prince Andrew, who recently, of course, popped up at the coronation in his uh, robes, of which he's allowed to do. You know, there's nothing that says he can't appear there. I personally thought he kept very much under the radar and was very respectful and there to support his elder brother on the biggest day of his life, far more, I think, evocative than perhaps Prince Harry was doing. But what's interesting here is, and as I told you before, when you look behind the layer of the story, and in particular that now infamous Newsnight interview, if you look at this picture here, you see this one? That's right, yeah, that's it. Now, that is the lady in question, the producer of that particular segment. And what I find fascinating about this is, you know, this lady has made sure that she's forced herself uh, right, left and centre into the story. Now, as a journalist, you know, the idea is to present the story, you sit back and let you, the public, the reader, the digital watcher, whatever you want to call yourselves, you know, look and think, okay, what is it? You know, who should I believe? And you're looking at both sides of the story. That's what we always try to do here on this channel, show you both sides and, of course, reveal some of the layers. But as you can see in this very much stylized picture of that producer, Sam McAllister, the true factor really all comes out in the picture, doesn't it? While she may have started with good intentions about revealing behind the scenes and Prince Andrew, apparently which she worked on for up to a year, herself and Emily Maitlis worked together to make sure they could secure that interview at Buckingham Palace. Both ladies have gone on to write books. Both ladies have posed in glossy magazine shoots like this. Both ladies are also working on documentaries all about that infamous interview. And where's the sisterhood in this? According to sources, they've now fallen out. You see, both desperately wanted the limelight. Emily lives for it, you know, you can see it. And of course, now Sam's had a taste of it and wants a slice of it herself. But where does that leave Prince Andrew? Well, his reputation is in tatters. Misguided interview, felt he could get away with himself. And what's really emerged is the fact that he should never, ever have sat down with these two individuals along with the rest of the BBC Newsnight team. But if he now wanted to look back and thought, what was their objective? It's quite simple, fame, money, and well, more fame, hopefully. Time moves on and people are already forgetting this particular escapade. And indeed, of course, we'll forget Emily and Sam in time. But isn't it strange to think glaringly that they've decided to amass themselves and show their true colors, what they truly wanted all along, at the expense, of course, of a reputation of the Duke of York. Whichever way you look at it, he has not been proven guilty of anything in this current time. So moving forward, I'll leave you to make your own mind up about these two particular individuals. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.